the whole self-improvement community and YouTube and all that shit. It's all obsessed over finding more friends. It's all obsessed over chasing more friends and socially fitting in. But at the same time, these are the same people that do all the degenerate activities that we know are bad for us. I'm going to make a case for you to go just go smoke, just to stop talking to these people. The reason I was stuck for so long was because I was doing everything to fit in. I was 18 years old at university and I had barely drank any alcohol before. When I went into that, I went out 10 nights in a row, got shit faced drunk just to fit in, just because that's what the culture said I should do. I associated with people that used Instagram and Snapchat all day and I kept them out because of them. Them bullshit apps that fucked up my head. Like you can say that you're on self-improvement at the same time. You can say that, you know, you're getting them onto self-improvement, you know, good for you. But I think to some extent that's just coping. I think that's like you, your caveman brain, not wanting to be alone. I said to some friends, you know, now I'm sober that this is a few months ago. Now I'm sober. I want to start talking to girls, you know, sober and start approaching people when we're out and about. And, and they basically just said that's really cringe. And they said it's embarrassing in almost a jokey way. Like it was a joke. But it, it, it seems serious, right? So I, I genuinely double-guessed myself and I just decided not to do it. I decided that it was a time where I shouldn't be trying to improve my social skills. There was a time when we were in tribes as cavemen and we were, you know, trying to survive. And that was our sole purpose. Our brains evolved so that we would have a bias to fitting in with everyone else. Because if we didn't, then we would, you know be kicked out of the tribe. If we didn't believe in certain things and we didn't believe in the story or the religion or the whatever you want to say, if we didn't believe that story of the tribe, then we wouldn't fit in and we'd get kicked out, we'd get hunted down by wolves and or freeze to death or just, just die. We wouldn't thrive, we wouldn't procreate. So you have a evolutionary bias towards fitting in with people and that means that your attitudes and beliefs will change in according with the people around you. And a lot of people say just find new people just find new people that believe in the things you do believe you want to believe in but that's not how it works you can't fit in with the big dogs until you become until you show some credibility until you show that you're actually capable of that you need to go through a period of loneliness as a man to actually get these people around you so my advice to you my advice to my past self you need to delete these social media apps need to delete these video games but as soon as you do this all the fake friends go away all the fake friends go you give them your phone number they probably won't text you they go away the fake ones go away the ones that are holding you back are going away the ones that don't care about your growth go away and it's simple right i had this i had this one guy who's a really good friend of mine growing up and you know he's a good guy like nothing against him but he would message me uh, he wouldn't message me Unless he said happy birthday to me once. I organized plans once, we went out, we had a good time. But he never watered that plan. He never really cared about the relationship. All he said was, come back on Snapchat, bro. Like, is that all our relationship is, Snapchat? Like, you haven't organized any meetups, you haven't organized any plans, but all you want is Snapchat. And I'm like, bro, why am I even entertaining this anymore? So I, so I just haven't texted him since. He doesn't care about it being two-way. So I just just cut him off like we just don't talk anymore it's no hard feelings here's the three steps priority so discover your priority what do you want it to be do you want it to be business do you want it to be you know becoming a gym bro do you want to fit in with the gym bro culture so find your priority achieve some level of success and then find the brotherhood it's simple it is literally a three step program to loving your life and becoming the best version of yourself Discover your priority through introspection and journaling and spending time alone. Become successful through that process. Find your priority. Become successful in that priority. Learn how to make a business or learn how to get ripped. Once you do so, once you get a certain level, I'm not saying you have to be the top dog. I'm just saying you get a certain level of success and then these other guys are going to want you in. It's going to be a two-way relationship. It's going to be actual like bringing each other up. This is what you want. Cut out the social media shit, man.